Here I'm standing in front of poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is one of the most toxic plants we have here in Oklahoma and is spread across the state. The only counties you might not find this plant is in the panhandle. It's toxic to many livestock species, but more importantly, it's also really toxic to humans. Even by just touching this plant, you can, have to, you can become really, really sick. So this is a plant that you don't want to touch and you definitely do not want to eat. For livestock and wildlife that consume this plant, they can sometimes die within 20 minutes. And it doesn't take very much. Less than 500 grams of this plant can actually kill an animal. You might see this plant growing in your flower beds. It might be growing in wooded areas or, um, in the edge of your property. You really need to be very, very careful when around this plant. This plant has white flowers and they're kind of umbrella shaped. The leaves kind of look like a fern and they have deep, deep lobing. You can tell this plant apart from some of the other white flowering plants that grow at this time of the year because of its really, really tall height. This plant will grow six to 10 feet tall as you can see behind me. So another important characteristic that you can look for to help identify poison hemlock is the red spotting that you'll find on the stem. This plant gets really, really large and the stems are big and they have all these little red dots along them and you can see these really, really well, especially earlier in the season when the stems are really green. So that can help you to identify it and um, is different from many of the other white flowering plants that we have. To manage this plant, you really don't want to do anything where you're touching it. And even if you do spray it with herbicide, herbicides can increase the palatability of this plant. So if it's in a pasture where livestock are grazing, that might not be the best option unless you can keep the livestock out for a length of time after you've sprayed it. In addition, the stalks remain toxic for up to three years. So you really wanna try to make sure that you remove any of the above ground um, growth after you've done any kind of herbicide treatment. One option for controlling this plant is after you've done a herbicide spray, it's to do a prescribed burn in that pasture to try to remove all of the above ground material so you won't have any animals that potentially graze it. Another thing that you can consider is not using heavy stocking rates and not using rotational grazing systems that have high stock densities where animals are forced to consume plants that they don't want to eat. These can help to limit the chances of your livestock eating this plant accidentally. You know, when we think about problem plants in our yards and in our pasture, we think about plants that might give us a rash, like poison ivy or um, bull nettle. But when we talk about plants like this, this can actually kill you. And even just by touching it, it can really make you sick. If you have questions about a plant that you think might be poison hemlock, take pictures of it and take it to your county extension office so they can help you to identify it.